Yo, it's the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z and we are B-A-C-K-A-G-A-I-N on another fantastic night in P-H-I-L-L-Y. Yes, Philly on the fly in Philly. And if this is your first time watching the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z, I ask that you share the information with relatives, friends, co-workers, anyone that you come to contact with. It is a magnificent way to jumpstart your conversation. But before we get started with this conversation, I want to address everything that I've been doing so far. I've been doing a lot of traveling. There's a lot of footage that I haven't edited yet. But I'm still here bringing you all informative information. And all throughout my travels, I will be showing you all. Just be patient. I got you. But today's conversation just happens to be about those eight people that were shot, leaving four, killed at a Chicago P-A-R-T-Y. P-A-R-T-Y. I keep telling you, stay away from clubs. Stay away from parties. House parties, garage parties, backyard parties. Concerts. Speaking of concerts, I was invited to a concert in L.A. All paid for. Ticket and all. And you know what? I had to decline the offer. Because look what happened in Vegas. Look what happened in Colorado. Look what happened in Walmart. Look what happened in the grocery store. Look what happened in Big Bear Grocery Store. Okay? People are going bananas out here. And you say, well, Mo, you always on the move. I would rather always be on the move, seeing that which I haven't seen, even though I've already seen 43 of the U.S. states. I'm doing this twice, meaning that I only have a couple of left, meaning one, two, three, four, four left. I've already did this, not to mention the fact in other countries. And if you live in Chicago, my recommendations for you is to leave the city. You have Mayor Lightfoot talking about the city is safe and secure, and it's not. The city is not safe and secure. If the city was safe and secure, you would not have all of this violence going on. You would not have all of these killings going on, Mayor Lightfoot. And what's really sad about the whole violence thing erupting right now, because you have a lot of black people who are in charge of police, um, policing in their city, whether they be mayors, whether they be chief of police, they are in charge. And sadly, there are a lot of people getting killed on their watch. I'm going to say that again. There are a lot of people getting killed on their watch. The same took place with Barack Obama. And he did nothing. He did nothing. So imagine the position that these black people are in who have the position of mayor, governor, or chief of police. It's a sad thing, especially when you say that you have a grip on the city. You don't have a grip on the city. The city got a grip on you. The city got a grip on you. And it's eating you alive. It's eating you alive. The shootings are not going to stop. And I'm going to tell you why. The more poverty, there's more crime. Where there's more poverty, there's more crime. You have governors and mayors around the country talking about investing in uh, police training, investing in uh, how to prevent crime, meaning more police. More police only means more crime. More police only means more crime. Because the police brings brutality. That we've seen. That's not even up for a debate. They were the measuring stick for their own judgment. And they don't care because it has always been happening. The thing is that we are more aware because of technology. But back to the shooting. The shootings that are taking place 
in Chicago is off the charts. Off the charts. Every day, somebody is getting shot. Every day, somebody is getting killed. And how many got shot last week? I'm just saying. What are you going to do about that? What are we going to do about that? Like I said, if we don't get a grip on this thing, all of us are going to be dead. And I'm not talking about white folks. I'm talking about black folks who live in the hood. Who live in those neighborhoods that they call hoods. You see? Most people that live in the hood don't own anything. They're just renting. And until we own something, then maybe we'll be able to be inspired to save something. But right now, the way the world is and the agenda that is placed before the world for the citizens of the country is not good. It's not good at all. It's not good at all. But if you live in Chicago, you may want to leave. In fact, about it, many people are leaving Chicago because of the killings, because of taxation. Mm -hmm. Because of killing and taxation. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the high cost of living. Mm -hmm. And Mayor Lightfoot continues to say that it's safe despite the fact that people are continuously dying in Chicago. Not to mention the fact those who are fatally shot by Chicago police unjustly. I'm just saying. Think about that. Nowhere safe in Chicago. And the sad part about it, all of these victims who died had children. They had children. And now their children have to grow up with a lesser parent. Huh? Because of some fool. Because of some fool. Who likes to cut TV people's off? Who likes to cut people TVs off? Sorry about that. But that's just being 100. Nowhere is safe. Nowhere is safe. We are leaving these children without parents. We are leaving these children without guidance. We are leaving, leaving these children without education. Not the education that they're currently receiving because if you think about it, the current education is what we're witnessing right now. Yeah. The current education of this country is what we're witnessing right now. You say, well, Mo, you can't equivocate this education that we're receiving with the madness that's going on. Yes, you can. Not only can you intertwine that with education, you can intertwine it with economics. Huh? With economics. You go to school to learn about economics. Yet, this country is in debt. Over $17 trillion, but they want to teach you about economics. Huh? They don't even know where to put the garbage. I'm just saying. Stop me when I'm lying. The whole system is faulty. The whole system is faulty because of an imbalance. Crime occurs because there's no jobs, but you want to invest in more police. Does that make sense to you? There's an agenda here, but we can change the narrative. We can change the narrative. <sighs> Think about it. Think about what's going on. More police only adds more police brutality. Okay, will you say, well, Mo? No police. Everybody is going mad. Well, you know what? If you go mad or leave it the way it is, what's the difference? 
It's all madness. It's all madness. It's all a zoo. Even with the popo. It's all a zoo. Even with the popo. Because even the popo act like animals. Even the popo act like animals, savages, beasts in human form. No sense of civilization. Which leads back to the education. Right? Which leads back to the education. Not to mention the fact, economics. How many billionaires do we have in this country? How many billionaires? 1%. Out of the 99, I'm going to even go as far as 10% who are the richest of all the people that are on the earth. And the 10%, just from my standpoint, if you're on my wavelength, are responsible or are in part responsible for the madness that's taking place. Stop me when I'm lying. Leave your comments in the comment section. It's a shame that those People who died partying had to die like that in Chicago. Like I said, stay away from parties, stay away from clubs, whether it's a house party, garage party, yard party, club party, concert. Stay away from it. Stay away from it. You just may save your life. It's your brother, the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z on the F-L-Y and P-H-I-L-L-Y. We got a whole lot coming up for you all. A whole lot. And if you have not checked out the videos entitled The Historical Origins of Jesus and Christianity, go check that video out. And nigga, nigga, nigga. Peace out, you all. Thanks for viewing. And remember, it is your third eye that makes you shine like jewelry. We out.